Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. Now, ask yourself this one question. What's the two things that makers always have lying around? Well, the first thing we have lying around are half empty or empty sprues and empty reels for uh, PLA, but there's also flexible filament there and I think some ABS as well. What's the other thing we always have lying around? Yeah, that's right. We always have lying around huge amounts of nuts, bolts, screws, and all kinds of little bits of metal and tap we've saved over the years. Why don't we use one to alleviate the other? So yeah, I'm going to basically make a wonderful 3D print that uses the reels to alleviate the screws. That's right after this. So I've had a look at Thingiverse and found a really, really great file. And it turns these sort of plastic um, leftovers into a really, really nice storage solution. And yeah, this was um, put together and designed by uh, this uh, guy right here. And yeah, it's um, a rather elegant solution. And I'm very, very much looking forward to printing it and also building it. Before I do that, however, thank you everyone who's liked and subscribed. You guys are absolutely amazing and we're heading away to 2000. So, yep, like, subscribe, be happy and let's get on and print ourselves a wonderful storage solution using these bits of plastic. Okay, with the parts done, it's time to start putting this thing together. First thing we need to do is we need to drill some holes in this reel because there's a peg and hole system. Although I don't think I'll be using the peg and hole system. I think I'll probably just use um, some screws actually, just to make it a little bit stronger than uh, your usual sort of 3D printed peg system. So let's make sure those line up. And that lines up as well. And just put some uh, self-tapping screws here, which will uh, grip onto the uh, PLA quite nicely and serve as a nice screw. Just do this up tight. And then, yeah, this is coming on nicely. Get those in there nice and tight so they'd also hold it together and make it a little bit more uh, flexible. There we go, last hole. Oh, actually, no, not last hole. I've got one more to do after this one, I think. No, it was the last one. If you are doing this yourself, make sure you are very, very careful as uh, drills and dremels do not go well with fingers. So yeah, wear a pair of uh, decent safety specs and keep your fingers well clear. It's very easy to slip. Final screw here. Get that in place. And we are done. Yeah, these uh, fold in and out are absolutely fine. And now finally, we just need to put the top cap on. I'm just going to use some sort of standard super glue to glue the PLA to the uh, whatever plastic this uh, reel is made out of. Place it on there, 
hold it down and give it 30 or so seconds and it should hold it in place nicely. And that's that complete. There is my lovely storage solution. And each one of these four compartments just uh, pops out. And I've done the screws quite tight, so it's got a nice uh, stiff feeling to it. Especially when you open and close, it doesn't feel like it's sort of like loose and wobbling around. There we go. It looks really nice in the black and the white as well. It just, uh, it just looks awesome. So very, very, very sci-fi. I will just close up nicely into a nice compact storage solution there. And I just have to ask myself a question. What am I actually going to put in this? So let's see what we've got lying around. And yeah, I had jars full of washers and screws and nails and some raw plugs. And yeah, that all goes in here really, really well. Yeah, plenty of space for all my bits and pieces. And you can make sort of like three or four of these and you can sort of stack them up on top of each other. That'd be absolutely great. Yep, all folds in and that looks very, very cool. Especially like the black and the white. Yeah, I think when I've used a few more uh, sprues soon, I'm going to make a few more. As I say, to stack them on top. And this will make a very, very cool little project. Thanks for watching. Stay happy and safe. Keep printing.